now let's go ahead and create our first express route so we'll say import from express and if you hover over this you will see that uh, it's asking to install the types like which we were trying to do earlier but uh, there was a typo here in the package name so it's express not exp so we'll again do this and let's try to install this again okay so this time it's installed and you can see that the error is gone so now we will create an app so we'll say const app is equal to express and we'll say app dot get we'll say on the home route and we'll create a controller request comma response and we'll say response dot send and working so and now we'll say app dot listen and we will listen on port 3000 and we'll say console dot log app working okay so we have this basic express app here now in order to run this we have to create a script here but like uh, since it's not the javascript it's the typescript so we need an extra package to compile this to javascript and run that so in order to do this we have this uh, amazing library which is ts node so first we'd install it npm install ts node and we will also install node one for like hot, re hot reloading and these will all be uh, development only dependencies okay so it's installed now let's go on to the home directory and we will create a file and let's call this file as nodemon.json so here we will store the nodemon configuration so it will be a json file so first will be watch and inside the watch we will say you have to watch the source folder so inside the source folder we have all our uh, source code so source and second argument second like configuration will be extensions so inside the extension we will give a comma separated value so we will watch for js extensions and dot ts extensions as well so apart from this we will give the execute command and inside the execute command we will say npx ts dash node and we'll say dot slash src and next dot ts so this is the node one file now in the package dot json we will write a test script for this so we'll say start and inside the start we'll say npx node one now let's try to run this we'll say npm start and let's see if it throws any error okay so you can see that app is working now if you go to the route localhost 3000 you can see that it's working so uh, our express setup is working fine now in the next lecture we will create some more directories and we'll see how we can proceed from there